YouTube. Today we're going to check out a couple kits. Uh, the first one is a TACOM World War I, World War II German Krupp 21 centimeter Morser 1016. And then the other one are some guys that I got to go with it. And this is made in the USA by Model Seller. And these are all 135th scale kits. So first let's well we'll go ahead and take a look at this box first. This shows you what you're getting. The guys. So that is, that's the guys that'll go with this when I get this done. And then, of course, there's the Krupp. And this is all 135th scale. All right, let's take a look inside the boxes. All right, so this is the side of the box of the Krupp. The other side, it's a two and one. We do a German cannon and a Canadian cannon. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, so here's our instruction manual. Gonna open it up, take a look. As you can see, Looks pretty easy to build, very detailed. Very detailed, looks very, very nice. And there's even the paint schemes. So you can see how to paint it. So that is the instruction manual. This comes with some photo X parts. Those there. These are obviously for the wheels. See them in a lot of Tamiya kits. And then, of course, there is the decals, which that's the Canadian one. And you can see there's red and there's white. Okay, and here's one of the sprues. Take a look and see how detailed that is. All the bolts. It's very good. Not a whole lot of flash on these. Actually, there's like very little right there. That's the only one I see. So that is great. Here is another sprue. Gotta get a look wheels there part of the cannon I said very nice here is the third sprue I'll go ahead and look at some of the stuff there So I got two different cannons for Christmas and some guys to go with them. So I'm going to put this one on and then I'm going to do uh, the other one too. I try to make these quick, quick and easy. You see what you're getting. That way you can decide whether you want one. And then this is the last sprue. Like I said, you can see... There's a lot of detail on this kit. Tacom makes awesome kits. Really, really nice kits. Very detailed, very nice. Like I said, not a whole lot of flashing. So that makes it even better. Okay, so these figures are from the model seller. And they have a website. 
uh, and they are from Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't want to open up the packs because I definitely don't want to lose any of these parts, but I want you to see the detail in the face there, in the clothes. This is very exciting. This really looks good. I mean, look at that. They look awesome. That's just one figure. This is probably good. I don't know. It's either going to be this cannon with these guys. It's going to be my next build. Or uh, I do have another cannon with some other guys. I haven't made up my mind yet. But I have to definitely put these guys in some sort of a trench with a cannon. But uh, this is very, very nice. I mean, you really need to appreciate the detail that they put into these guys. This looks really good. Here is their officer. He has a pipe in his hand. There's even a inst uh, instruction type paper in there to show you how to do the pipe. So that's very nice too. Like I said, these, these uniforms are awesome. The faces are great. They're different, they're detailed. That's what you want. They look awesome. Okay, so here is the third guy. And if I can get, like, if I can see his face. Like I said, all the faces are different. They all look good. This guy's a little bit bent. He's the one that's actually standing on the Krupp. You see him right there. But that is him. Like I said, everything looks excellent. And I know a lot of people, why don't you take it out of the pack? Well, I don't want to lose anything. So it's going to stay in the pack. You can see pretty much everything from the pack. Sleeves and hands. Look at his hands. The detail in the hands. These are excellent, excellent kits. And last but not least, you get some shells. Ones that haven't been fired and ones that are spent. So that is really nice. That's cool. That'll just add to it. This will be a nice diorama when it's done. Well, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank a veteran today. Thank them for their service. And God bless.